this stops sticking. And it needs to stay there the whole time. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Snyder House. My name is Keith, and today I'm gonna to be showing you something cool about 3D printing. Right here is an Anycubic Viper 3D printer. It can print, I think, 25, 250 by 250 by 260 or something like that. Let's check it out, and this is what I'll be doing. I know you can't really see that in the camera. All right, now that we know what we want to print with white filament, PLA+, plus, what you want to do now is how to print it. So what we're going to be doing is a lithophane globe. I'm not going to do this size, make it smaller, so I'm going to do a smaller one. That's going to take about 10 hours. This one took about 25, 30 hours. So the smaller ones can fit on your Christmas tree. And so far, guys, if you want to know more, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, click the bell notifications. It's really easy, guys. It helps me out. It really does, helps me and my family out. So please subscribe or something in the comments below what you want to print. So thank you and let's get going. Let's get going building something like this. I have an idea, let's do it. Now that you know what you want to make, you go to this site right up here. Yeah, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you don't want to make the globe, you can make anything here. A lamp maker, a heart, a night light, a light box. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the globe. You can also do a flat a ceiling fan, a curved lithophane maker, also a color lithophane maker, and also a circular lithophane. And then a Christmas tree. You can click this video and it tells you how it works, basically, how to design, slice, and print. So I'm gonna click on the one I wanna do, which is the lithophane. You're gonna find a picture you want. When you find a picture, you can automatically do the moon background. So you saw my globe that I showed you in the picture. That is a moon background. It automatically has all the numbers in there for you. Now that you chose your image, go to choose file. I chose this one. It's my wife and my daughter, beautiful. And also you can see here that I cut out the background and I made it black and white. And I'm going to hit click open and you see it right here. You see a black line. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. You can see here this example of what it is right now. We're going to go ahead and go through and change this so that way it all click crop image because we want to adjust this one too. So first thing, let's Fane resolution, leave it 0.25. Now the sphere diameter is 50. Next is picture angular height, which is going to be 90. And then this one is picture angular width 360. And then maximum thickness 2.4, 0.6, leave that 15.6 for the cylinder outer diameter. Okay, now, now it updated. As you can see up here, this is what it looks like so far, but we're going to go ahead and change some more stuff height is gonna be four that's gonna change you see that and then cylinder thickness right now it's at five change it to two cylinder ledge outer diameter right here right now it's at 75 put that to 17 and boom now you are ready we're gonna flip image why we're gonna do that is because if it hangs on a Christmas tree because that's what this bulb is for you want this image to be upside down so when it hangs it hangs the right way now also we're gonna do a moon background just for this example now that that is done we're gonna go and create the sdstl okay now it's justin right now doing its thing see right here down here now we're gonna go to kira this is what i use we're gonna go ahead here open preview but when you open it this is what it looks like and how tiny it is and you can adjust rotate it so that way you can see the where the picture is at so you click on this blue Ooh, something happened to you. like i cannot see anything so when you have an error here, just go back and figure out what happened and fix it. So it looks like right here is where the picture is supposed to be in. They cut it out for some reason. So I'm going to have to go back to here and I left it here. Let's click fit image to sphere. See what that does. Okay guys, I think I figured out what went wrong here. 
So you can see the picture right here. You don't want to print this way, I just flipped it over when I opened it in this Cura. What happened was when I was here in the lithophane maker, I had this at 360 and it was gonna go all the way around. So if you have a, a long picture, you can make it go around the object 360, but we don't want to. So you could play with this and test it and see, it might take some time. This is kind of small on the Cura, um, which ain't bad. So I kind of want it bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna print this. So we're gonna do no support because it doesn't need it. Adhesion, we don't need it because this, well, you can, you know, let's add it, customize it. So when you got your picture ready and you got the size you want, you're gonna go here, go to custom here, layer height, you want at 0 0.12. And also do not use huge layers for smaller ornaments or the image will be grainy. Okay, now we go to the bottom layers. The top bottom, you want nine, 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 nine. Five nines is infill density, 20%. We want it at 100. Now build plate adhesion. You want a 20 millimeter for a 50 millimeter sphere. Now the speed is very important. The slower you go, the better quality. So think about that. People suggest at 15 right here and it's at 60. And you could print between 50 to 75% should be fine. I'm gonna put mine at between 30 to 45. So I'm gonna put 40 instead of 60. It will print slower. Um, and then you get this error. You ignore it, it'll be fine. Does anything orange out? Now that you got everything right, you're gonna slice it. And this will tell you how approximately long it should take. So this should take three hours and 57 minutes, because it is really small. And you can always make this bigger. So to click on the diameters here. So right now, about 56 millimeters tall. That is tiny. And I usually do it bigger. So I'm just gonna scale it. Now it's at 67. So let's see what this one does. You click slice, 10 hours and 31 minutes. So I'm just gonna change this to 70. Okay, that is eight hours and 10 minutes. Now we're gonna get the SD card, plug it into my computer and save it. Now my SD card is right in here. Stick it in there. Now it should pop up. So save to removable, eject. Boom, we are ready to go. So I pop this out. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. Turn the printer on. We want to auto level. Every time you take this build plate off right here, right now, it is auto leveling. Keep in mind when you're leveling, some of these printers, can't even see me, some of these printers do not have auto leveling. I think most of them don't, but this one does and it saves me so much time. This takes less than 10 minutes to auto level. What do you guys think so far? The like, subscribe, please. Now that that is done auto leveling, make sure your table is clean. You plug this in. Let's come here. With you. Come here. You go print. So here we go, that's a spherical print that I'm doing. So we're gonna print, let's do this. No turning back. So right now, the temp is rising. We're gonna be at 170, bed temp is gonna go to 65. But this needs to be higher. And go to settings, and you're supposed to change that. Let's change that to 200. That's cool, you can hit okay, and it's done. You can see the light is on right here, so you can see your print. It'll start after it's heating up. All right, right now I'm gonna do a time speed of this printing. Right now it's already on the outer circle it's doing. It's been 24 minutes right now. Eight hours and 10 minutes, and we'll just see how it goes. All right, enjoy this time lapse. Well guys, as you saw, it has failed. So what happened is, take this off, this stops sticking. And it needs to stay there the whole time. 
and somehow it stopped sticking and moved. So, a couple of things you can do. People say use glue sticks, hairspray, and then start it, but I've never done that. So I've done like, probably like 15, 20 prints now, and well, I had some issues, but, so what I'm gonna do is actually clean it. And this happened about halfway through, about 50%. It's upsetting. This is what it looks like. And you're gonna have fails. I don't know how much of uh, filament this used. So I'm gonna clean this now with soap and water, that's it. So I'm gonna get a paper towel, get it wet, throw some dish soap on the paper towel, wipe this really good everywhere and rinse it. I'm gonna finish this tomorrow. Why? Because it's a nine hour print. I'm not gonna stay up and watch this thing. So I recommend doing it during the day if you have issues, because overnight you're just gonna ruin filament and it's just a waste of time. Hey guys, it is done. This one took only four hours and 53 minutes and here it is. You can see it's upside down. Well, just pop it right off. That's what it looks like, guys. There you go. Pretty cool. I am definitely impressed. All right, everyone. Now that I have it done and got it fixed, if you can't see this on this camera, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. This took just a little over four hours. Um, I did, as you can see, I did have issues. And the good thing about having issues is you can find a solution. And the cool thing is I found a solution that will cut the time almost down by half. So here's a link below in the description of a person who I found who helped me figure this out much better. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. And I just want to talk about one more thing. This lithophane light, I, I just call it lithophane light, but it's just a light that you can shine your lithophane through. It's pretty cool. Only cost me about 12 bucks. Click the link below in the description. You could buy one yourself. Prices change always, so I don't know what it is right now. But if you guys like this video, please like it, of course, and then subscribe because it does help out the channel. And hit those bell notifications so that way you get notified of more videos. And to that tune, let's have a good one. Peace!